What's up, Mike Drop Sports family? It's me. I'm back uh, for another quick episode today. Uh, I'm bringing it to you live from taking my um, dog for a little walk here. So, you know, this is how it goes on a day with the pooches. So we're walking up in West Virginia, Morgantown area, Cheat Lake area in a beautiful hollow. That is just nice to walk up, breathe some air, get out on a nice, beautiful day. Sorry if it's bouncing, but uh, the video won't be too long. I just want to talk about the uh, quarterback carousel going on. Well, about to go on in the NFL. Um, Aaron Rodgers and uh, Derek Carr has been released. And Lamar Jackson not happy with the Ravens. And, you know, uh, just a bunch of things starting to fall. A bunch of dominoes start to fall. Um, we have some backup guys that are out there, too, um, like some Mason Rudolph that I mentioned in one of my shorts. Uh, I like him going somewhere. He could win you a game or two. He's coupled with a top-flight guy. You eliminate a whole quarterback room and change the culture, Jets fans. That's what I was talking about for you. You eliminate a whole room and restart something that, you know, needs to be restarted. I mean, you guys are in a bad way. Come on, girls. Home. Sorry, we're gonna go back to the house. So uh, I gotta make the dogs turn. Let me get out untangled. But anyway, that's what I was talking about, guys. You have free agent guys like that out there that are ready to win you a game or two, have been in a league, they're veterans. Guys like that. So if you're a team like the Jets and you wanna just get something going and you wanna make a change real quick and just flip something, take that room, take that quarterback room and flip it upside down, Jets fans. Flip it upside down. Get yourself one of these big guys, one of these top flight guys, no matter what it takes. You have a roster that's built to win now, right? You have that. So whatever it takes, Jets fans, get out there, make some moves and figured out you got to because this changes the whole thing for you i believe whenever you bring leadership at the quarter sorry quarterback position yeah that's a big change man you see what a quarterback can do it wins your super bowls patrick mahomes i.e jalen hurts gets you there i.e you know what i mean so these examples right here that's what you got to have you got to have it. And I know people were talking about Derek Carr to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and that would be a good spot for him. Yeah, I think so. That would be a good spot for him. He'd probably win right away. I heard him about going to the Saints. I don't like that because they don't have any receivers that can play. And here comes the car, guys. So we're going to get off the road. Hold on one second. We're going to get off the road. Hello. Guy waved at me. But anyway, we got, had to get the dogs off the road. But Derek Carr, you haven't heard about him uh, going to the Jets, really. I've heard Lamar Jackson rumors going to the Jets. I've heard things like that because I know Lamar's not happy in his current situation. And they haven't paid him. You got to pay him. But honestly, I don't know if I would pay him, man. I might try to move on because you know what? I want somebody who can throw the football, dude. Yeah, you can run well and do things special like that. But come on. I don't know. I don't know Jets if the, uh, Jets fans especially if I would go after him. I don't know. I just don't know if I want to mortgage everything on a guy like him. That is, in my opinion, kind of one-dimensional. I'm not saying he doesn't have flashes of passing and things like that. But, man, he's just not that guy that's going to stand back there in a pocket and win you a game when it matters. And I'm sorry, Baltimore fans, because I know I'm no Baltimore fan by any means. I just don't like it. And I feel like the Steelers, my team, really doesn't never plays Lamar Jackson anyway. He's always hurt or something. I mean, he's not in there at all the time, you know? He hasn't gotten you really that far. A couple dinky playoff runs or something, you know, come on. That's whatever. You know, he ain't won the you know, Super Bowl or anything. And he's been there a minute. You guys are now at that critical point, Baltimore. You're at that critical point in a young quarterback's career. You're what? Five, four, five? 
that, that critical critical juncture of a young man's career, young quarterback's career, that now you have to pay him. So what does that do to the team? So if he's not that elite guy, Baltimore, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You have to have an elite guy. And if he isn't that elite guy, once the, uh, once the roster isn't as good, which you've already seen them, those effects in Baltimore, once that roster isn't that good, what are you going to do? You're not going to win. You're going to be in a beastie division with Deshaun Watson. Kenny Pickett's going to be good. I mean, come on. Come on now. You have Baltimore or the Bengals. Joe Burrow going to be there forever winning games. Is Lamar Jackson the guy that can gunsling with Joe Burrow in an AFC title game, um, a divisional playoff game, um, a division game any time during the season when they play each other twice? Is Lamar Jackson that guy? I don't think so. I just don't think so. But anyway, guys, the sun's out there. It's blinding me. Don't mind the dark circles around my eyes. I always have them, as you can tell if you watch all my videos. I hate them. It's ridiculous. I don't know how to get rid of them, but uh, yeah, I've had them all my life. <laughs> but with the sun shining weird on the uh, camera here, it's making it uh, look crazy, super crazy. But anyway, guys, it is uh, a Wednesday, the day after Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody from um, yesterday, a belated Valentine's Day. But uh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to continue to watch the or uh, walk the dogs. And um, guys, let me know what you think. Like I said about this quarterback carousel that's about to start falling. Domino one fell. Derek Carr released. He's out there. Watch the feeding frenzy in the NFL start for even a guy like Derek Carr. I think Derek Carr is a good quarterback and can win you games. He's proven that. And I think in the right situation, he becomes um, that second level guy. He, right now, he's that first level guy that's serviceable. Um, I break him into tiers, one, two, and three. Um, I, I, I totally average, um, can win you some games, get you where you need to be, but needs to have a better situation. That's like my regular tier. Um, my tier two, can win you games and get you in the playoffs, could, could we get you there. And then tier three, the guys that do it. And then we have our tier also that's zero that doesn't even get on the scale that's just get rid of the guy. Like um, Titans, I'm sorry, you Malik Willis, you got him and you need to get rid of him. You got to draft a quarterback already. But anyway, guys, I'm going to quit rambling. I got a hill to go up here back into my development. West Virginia is very uh, loaded with hills and it's a pain in the butt sometimes. But uh, hopefully it'll keep me a little healthier considering I'm not the healthiest person to uh, begin with. But hopefully walking these heels with the pooches gets me where I need to be. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. The first domino's falling. Derek Carr, where do you think these people are going to move? You have Aaron Rodgers going to do some weird shit. I don't know what he's going to do. Some weird shit, but whatever. Do you, Aaron. Do you. Um, I don't know if I want that guy even leading my team, man. He hasn't got the Packers, and they've had some good rosters. He hasn't got the Packers nowhere. He hasn't won a Super Bowl. But there's going to be some guys out there that, in the right situation, could change some teams' fortunes. And the Jets, I think, is the easiest to flip. And that means getting a decent guy that can win you games. Um, yeah, I know I said Lamar sucks, but he can win you some games. And he can get you where you need to be. And if you have an ultimately stacked roster like you do right now, you might be able to make a year or two run. Maybe try to give these guys a shorter deal if you can and give them the outs, you know, give them that ability to come in, cash in a little bit with your organization, maybe get a get a Lombardi, and then uh, maybe move on, you know, maybe move on and, you know, it doesn't kill your, your cap and you can keep yourself competitive and keep yourself going and you're not setting your organization back six, seven years, sometimes more. Look at some of these organizations that can't win a game for years, for years, for years. But anyway, guys, it's windy. It's probably hard to hear me anyway. I didn't even think of that, especially now I'm going up the hill. But anyway, this was a uh, live episode. I just wanted to get some thoughts out there. 
on the quarterback carousel that's about to kick start now that we're in the NFL offseason. Is there really an offseason in the NFL? Nope, not really. No offseason in the NFL, guys. None whatsoever. And uh, let's see what happens because I think things are going to start to to go quick because uh, once they're able to do everything and move on from people and get going and really get into the swing of things and timelines start to line up, I think uh, you'll start to see some moves happen really quickly. As you see all the time with uh, quarterback frenzies in the NFL when there's a couple guys that are to be got out there. As you see the Broncos overpaying for Russell Wilson, Will, Maybe at the time, people might have thought that it wasn't an overpay, but I thought it was a complete reach for a guy that is in the uh, latter part of his career. <laughs> so, but things like that, guys. Put them in the comments. Let's talk about it. Um, next time we'll go live if we get enough comments and people that want to interact and uh, I can answer questions and get things done that way. So, uh, let me know what you think. I'll reply to all the comments and uh, have a good day, everybody. Um, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful February day. We don't get many of these here in West Virginia. And boy, it's been nice lately. So I'm sucking this up. All right, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out here. I'm trying to uh, grow it up here. Get some people um, interacting with me and things like that. So subscribe to the channel. Let's start having some fun. Let's build a community. Um, till next time, later.